Coming up on the Glow Sports Corner, we'll look at the softball team as their season gets underway. Gabe Kermo talks with Tanner Kent about the upcoming season for the baseball team. And Jacob Gerber reflects on his performance at Indiana Wesleyan. All that coming up on the Glow Sports Corner. Welcome to another episode of the Glow Sports Corner. My name is Benjamin Cotton. The softball team is now in full swing with their season. Tanner Camp had a chance to talk with the members of the team and get their thoughts on the season. The Goshen College softball team is now in full swing in the new season. Now in her second season with the Maple Leafs, Julia Claire Plesbert, head coach for the softball team, commented on the things that she learned after her first year. I think just the intensity. I think going into spring last year, we were just on the go and just grinding and said we're slowing it down a little bit more and focusing on like what we can work on and instead of just like go 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 24 7 we're taking a step back and saying okay well what can we do to get better and like actually make practices a little bit more purposeful to do that. Catherine Boyer senior second baseman for the team talks about what coach Plesbert has brought to practices and how that will translate into games. Coach Plesbert came in with a pretty dominant force and a force just to get it done and so that's kind of what she brought into this year and this semester and so I feel like when we do drills like we did today we did a lot of burpees and things like that like you don't give up doesn't matter how hard it gets in the drill like you're going to finish it just like you're going to finish a game whether you're down by eight or you're up by nine you will finish it. While the Maple Leafs went one and three in the leadoff classic Boyer and Plesbert talk about what the team did well in those games and what they will be focusing on throughout the season. I think we did so great on defense I mean compared to last from last year this year like our defense was just night and day. I think we should pick up the bats a little bit, but I think that just comes with time and a little more comfortability at the plate. Um, I think we've had a focus on just getting 1% better every day. So defense, offense, pitching, um, each person doing their part in order to create the bigger picture. So defense definitely contributes and is a big factor for us. Um, and I'm excited for all parts to come together so to see what we can actually do this season. As Boyer enters her final season with the Maple Leafs, she wants to set the best example possible for all of her teammates. As a senior, I want to represent the team with someone who's encouraging, someone who's dependable, and I want the underclassmen to look up to me. So when I leave and I leave this legacy, like I want the underclassmen to be like, man, I want to be a leader how she was. Like I want someone to be able to depend on me the way I depend on that senior, and I kind of want to leave them with that little legacy. The team will compete again in the Mustang Meltdown in Arkansas on February 21st and 22nd. For Globe Sports, I'm Tanner Camp. The softball team will get a couple weeks of practice before the next game in Arkansas. When we return, Tanner Camp will be with Gabe Kermo to talk about the baseball team. All that's next on the Globe Sports Corner. I'm getting my degree from the college named TV School of the Year three out of the last four years. It's not in Muncie or in Indianapolis. I attend Goshen College, and communication is just one of the 35 outstanding majors offered here. At GC, you will work with professionals and get your hands on the camera in your first semester on campus. How do I know that Goshen College was the best choice? Right after graduation, I start my first job, broadcasting professional baseball. Take the next step towards your career. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. I'm Tanner Camp, and joining me today is Gabe Kermode, freshman outfielder for the Goshen College baseball team. Gabe, thank you so much for coming down to the studio. Thanks for having me, Tanner. So you're in your second season with the Maple Leafs, and while you may not have played last year, you still got a chance you know, watch the team, kind of get a feel for what NAIA baseball is like. So uh, what all have you learned, or what have you learned from last year to kind of get you ready for your first official season with the Maple Leafs? Well, it was great to see all the competition ahead of having to play against them. The biggest factor was really the weather, getting to know what that actually feels like and having to throw and hit and play in that weather. It's going to be tough, but I'm excited for it. Definitely. So over the last couple of weeks, you know, you guys have been practicing, you know, in the turf room, got a few chances to go outside. Um, but then for you individually, what did you do over the summer knowing that you were going to be in your first official season to prepare yourself for this season? Well, something that I really struggled with last year was hitting. So I was outside. I was hitting every day. I'm blessed to be in a place where it's always sunny outside. It's always good baseball weather. So I was outside. I was hitting. I was throwing. I was just doing everything I could to prepare for this season. 
And then you come, again, it can be very challenging, you know, not to play. But a little fun fact that a lot of people may know is that not only did you lead the team, you also lead NAIA in foul balls retrieved. A very yes, interesting yeah. stat that normally isn't kept track of, but with you, it was able to keep track of that. So what was kind of the, moti the motivation behind it? You know, something that just really motivated you to keep wanting to get those foul balls? Well, it started out when... The coaches sat down and said they were going to redshirt me. They're like, hey, you still need to be a teammate. Get on every foul ball, and I decided to take that really to heart. So first foul ball of the season, I went and sprinted 100% after it, and the crowd started getting involved in it. The coaches would start timing me on their stopwatches. So I kind of felt like I had to do it for the entire season. And, hey, it worked out. I got recognition from the NAI ball guys. They do great work over there. I got recognition by foul pole sports, got retweeted a bunch, got a lot of fame from it. So hopefully... Uh, I don't regret it at all. In your opinion, do you think that by getting those foul balls, it actually helped you train at all for the upcoming baseball season? Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. But you know what? It, it, it was great. Uh, I, liked, I liked feeling the fans during the playoffs. The coaches were always great. They were really nice about it. And, you know, it was fun. So the team's first game is coming up here really quickly within the next week or so. So after being at a couple practices and just getting a feel for the team, what do you like most about this year's team? Well, this is a really tight-knit group. Everybody, Everybody's with each other. We're all, we didn't lose anybody. Or we lost Strobe. That's, uh, that's a big part of our team. But we've got pretty much the same people as last year. Our pitching is going to be great. Everybody's really tighten it together and I think we have a chance to do something special this year. Absolutely and then over the course of the season you know there are going to be some losses that'll be close there's going to be some big success that you'll have. Um, over the course of the season what do you think is going to be the thing that you'll need to work on most to string together a couple of wins? I think personally I think it's going to come down to our defense. It's always rough having that adjustment from being inside all winter and then throwing us outside so if we can make that adjustment period as smooth as possible, I think we should be good to go. Absolutely. We look forward to that. And then finally, as you go through the season, you know, wins, losses, aside from that, what are you just most looking forward to in general about this year's baseball season? Oh, the camaraderie. There's nothing better than getting with your boys, going on a four-hour road trip, going out playing some ball, and then just chilling in the hotel afterwards. It's my favorite thing in the world, and I wouldn't trade it for anything else. Well, again, best of luck to you and the entire team throughout the season. And, Gabe, thank you so much again for coming down to the studio. Thanks for having me. When we come back, I'll be with Jacob Gerber to talk about his performance to earn him a national bid. That's coming up on the Globe Sports Corner. Goshen College. Everyone's at home here. Students from around the world and down the street find inspiration and lifelong friends in our unique, supportive community right here in northern Indiana. Cutting-edge academics, real-world learning, and small, personalized classes make the difference. All surrounded by world-class culture and championship sports. Most importantly, it all leads to a record of amazing outcomes in diverse fields of study. From pre-med to social work, broadcasting to accounting, schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu slash visit. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. To my left, I am joined by Jacob Gerber, junior thrower for the Goshen College track and field team. Jacob, thank you for joining us in the studio today. Thanks for having me. So in your last meet, you finished second place in the weight throw, and you also qualified for the NAIA Indoor Championship. Yes. So with that, how did you feel going into the meet? And then explain to us after you uh, threw how you felt overall. So going into the meet, I felt pretty solid. I felt like I would had a good rhythm in practice recently. Um, I felt really strong from lifting, and then I actually hit the standard on my second throw of the meet, and I got six throws. So after that, I lost focus, and I was, it was such a weight off my shoulders. I was so excited. It really, uh, it was just a relief to finally qualify. So. Absolutely. So you're now in your junior year, and last year you qualified for the Outdoor National Championship, again, as only a sophomore. So coming into this season, you know, there can be a lot of expectation for yourself, for the team. But um, over the summer, what did you do to prepare for the upcoming track season? Um, over the summer, I did a lot of uh, visualization of the throws, and I did a lot of film studying. It was a little bit harder to get into the ring and actually throw. Um, so I did a lot of that, and then I lifted pretty regularly and there were a, I put a ton of pressure on myself for this season because I want to keep improving I don't want to just qualify once and be done so 
So again, you performed very well um, throughout all of last season and then this season. So you made continuous improvements. So when it comes to this season, what has kind of been a focus for you in terms of maybe in the weight room, maybe just in terms of throwing your technique? Uh, just explain a little bit more about a big focus that you've had on yourself. Uh, the biggest focus this year has been um, learning the technique, every little part of it. So at the beginning of the year, my coach had to leave for a different job. And so it's, it fell to me to break down each part of the technique that I needed to do. So, and that's film, that's feeling the positions out, doing drills. And so it's really just learning how the best in the world do it and how I can imitate that. So. Absolutely. And again, you qualify for the Indoor National Championship, and that'll be coming up. But you're also getting ready as indoor season oh. slowly, slowly starts getting close to being done. The outdoor season is coming up here soon. Um, when it comes to that, uh, can you just explain some differences between the indoor and outdoor season and stuff that you're going to have to change or improve on to get ready for outdoor season? So outdoor is a little bit different. You have to be a lot more adaptable because weather is the biggest one. It's always miserable during track season. And then it's a slightly different event. So the weight throw is a lot shorter of an implement, and so it changes the velocity of your turns. So the hammer throw is about four feet long, and it's lighter, but you have to change very small things in the technique, um, like pushing through with the right hand more. And so it's little changes like that that are very important, and I should be able to make, but it's just adapting to it and re refocusing my, my practices, I guess. Absolutely. So then between the two, indoor and outdoor, is there one that you prefer or that you feel like you throw your best in? Oh, I absolutely love outdoor. It's my favorite. It's, it's a lot easier on the body. It doesn't hurt so much. So. Definitely. So then finally, as the season continues to go on, you know you're going to see some improvements, you're going to make some adjustments, and it should just be a great season for you. But as the whole thing goes on, you know, you might struggle a little bit, you're going to make some great success. What is the one message that you're always telling yourself that uh, through in each meet and practice that you always remind yourself to improve? I always just remind myself to stay focused and keep pushing. It's, it's simple, but it works. If I stay focused and I keep working at it, it will happen. It's not going to be right when I want it every time, but it will happen eventually. So. Well, well, we look forward to the rest of your season, how you improve, and we look forward to hearing about the Indoor Championship in March. Jacob, thank you so much again for coming down to the studio. Thanks for having me. When we return, Benjamin will give you a look at the Maple Leaf schedule for this week. That's up next on the Globe Sports Corner. Goshen College students enjoy an amazing success record, and we have some impressive numbers to prove it. But stories of our graduates say even more like developing a breakthrough antiviral drug for HIV AIDS, writing number one hits, being named one of Time Magazine's most influential people in the world for cancer research, and enjoying a broadcast career right out of college. They all started with a real world education on a campus that makes everyone feel at home. See how the numbers add up and schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu slash visit. Welcome back to the Glow Sports Corner. It's time to take a look at your Maple Leafs in action this week. On Friday and Saturday, the men's volleyball team will travel to Illinois to compete in the Justin Early Bird Tournament. On Saturday, the Goshen College Race Walking will compete in their second meet at home. The track team will be in Hillsdale on Friday and Saturday. And the baseball team will open up their season on Saturday and Sunday, taking on Oakland City University. Finally, the men's and women's basketball teams will compete in a doubleheader at Indiana Wesleyan University this Saturday. And that's going to wrap up another episode of the Globe Sports Corner. Be sure to check us out on social media at 91.1 The Globe and subscribe to our YouTube channel at 91.1 The Globe. And you can also visit our site at globeradio.org. We'll see you next time on the Globe Sports Corner.